So this guy here is uh my everyday carry around flashlight. But um this will give out about 500 lumens. Um which is pretty decent. Um and here's another version just to show. This has got a convex lens on it, same emitter. It's hard to see with this this light. This one's got a momentary switch though because it's got a more powerful high discharge battery. So this battery is pushing about three amps in the emitter, which is driving it to its max rating, putting out about a thousand lumens. And this is not um, all the way charged, but it's given over close to three amps. So this guy is a uh, pretty damn bright this guy though uses a cheaper battery 18650 um, which is only putting out about a little bit uh, close to an amp a little bit over an amp um, <clears throat> fully charged is going to put out about one and a half amps depending on your battery but um yeah this guy is pretty bright just threw some magnets on there you know and um, I like that because uh, keep a little knife down here. Pshion. It's just, yeah, it's, those magnets are tough. But anywho, simple 500 lumen or so light. Uh, very bright. Much brighter than some cheap bullshit you're going to buy at the store. But uh, yeah, very simple Cree. Uh, XML2 in there. Um, the way I did this was I just bought a cheap gas station light. Um, I'm too too puny to do this with my one hand. See, I've got tape all around here it's to help waterproof it. Um, set this down real quick. Oh no! All right. Boom! There's the battery. There's my bootleg switch, just a clicker switch. See, I made it so one end touches the case, the other is going to make contact the negative of the battery over here. Positive of the battery goes down, makes contact. I'll take this off so you can see. Ugh. I got four pennies down there. Where the emitter on its little cheap sink is sitting on. Glue the spring down there. The emitter leads. One is touching the case, which obviously hits the negative. The positive lead is coming over, touching that spring. So essentially, it's just very simple. I'm just making contact um, from the battery to the emitter through the switch. That's all it is. Um, and you get your very simple. Uh, super bright flashlight it all depends on your battery but I would not use a high discharge battery for this light because that heat sink is only going to be good for about a little bit over an amp if you're going to leave it on but I can leave this on and it won't melt the reflector this however the reflector on the inside has, has been melted and damaged because I left it running too long and I had to put that momentary switch on there um, yeah, there you go. It's very simple. If you have basic electronic understanding, it should be very simple to wire that up. And um, let's see. Let's set this down real quick. I'm just going to put it back together. Show the light a little bit uh, more. Got this uh, flash. Let's see. There we go. Sucker is bright. Um, the Mountain Dew test is where it's at. Hey. Shine the light directly through the bottle cap. Hey. Yeah.
bright ass freaking light. Living room in here. 